All right, I'm gonna show how to um, put together the uh, CPAP mask and the tube that goes with it. So um, first thing is, these ones have already been prepped. There's a little um, vent right here that we pull out, it's like silicone, and then we put a piece of packing tape over it. And that keeps uh, you from rebreathing while you're inside the suit. So that basically we're just blocking this. The next part is we're gonna take this thing here loose because there's a there's a little flap in here that it's a one-way valve, but it's kind of one way the wrong way. It allows you to rebreathe a lot of air and it makes you feel short of breath before the suit gets inflated. So you pull this out, it goes back in, so be careful with it. And then that allows this to separate. Once you separate this, this part comes apart. You squeeze these two little tabs. And then there's this little silicone piece in here. You pull it out. And we want it to go... Um, so right now it kind of goes in here. And it's kind of concaved. And this is sort of facing the other way. We want it to go this way. But the problem is it's got this ring on it. So... We have to take this and cut it. Once you cut this piece off, you can put it back in there. When you flip it around, it allows you to uh, exhale into the suit, but not inhale. So we're going to put it in there now so that it goes concave with the structure. So basically just flipping it around. Now we can put this back together here. And then... We can put this back in here and then this little ring has to kind of go around. This is kind of a tricky thing, but you have to just, if you get one side up under there, then you can usually just sort of pull this apart a little bit and there you go. So that's the mask. Now the tube, which just is a press fit thing like this, you gotta get your measurement of where you wanna cut it. So once you have your length figured out, the idea is to not make it longer than uh, Ideally, it's good around 20 inches or less, but if you need to, you can go to 30 inches. Once you get really any longer than that, you start feeling out of breath. So it's a good idea to try to keep it shorter. So next you'll take a piece like this, and actually this is a little bit long. I think I'm gonna cut it down just a little bit. about three inches long so you fit that in there so you got about an inch of overlap then you take the fusion tape which is this stuff it looks kind of like electrical tape but it has a backing to it you take about that much of it cut it and this stuff is not sticky but it fuses to itself when it stretches and touches itself so I'm going to start where it's overlapped and I'm going to at least get one so it doesn't really stick until it stretches and touches itself. So one round, okay, then, then it should stay put. I can peel the rest of that off. And then I want to kind of go up the tube. You don't want to go too far because you need to have some of that tube exposed to stick up into the fitting. But then I want to go back this way some to kind of create a little bit of a strain relief. 
Once I get past where it's overlapping the tube, I don't want to pull quite as hard because I don't want to collapse this. So I'm just going to pull just a little bit, but not nearly as hard. Give myself a nice little strain relief. And then once I get back up into this area, I can pull hard again. There you go. You just as long as you stretch it and overlap it. So that's pretty much it. And the next thing to do is to stick this into the suit, <clears throat> into the valve, and then take the drill and we'll drill a hole through the valve and through the tube on, on both sides and we'll put a little um, safety uh, plastic pin through it.